But you know the funny thing about this is, look at this. Love Tony. Ah, oh, Iron Man's mocking it, bro. <laughs> I've been playing games in the fun house. Got big names in the fun house. I'll be in my lane in the fun house. Fully entertained in the fun house. Fun house, fun house, fun house. Yo people, what's good and welcome back to my channel. Last week I unboxed some of my video game collectible collection and today I've got a few more of them to unbox. So I'm going to start off with something light and then we're going to get into some serious unboxing stuff. Alright, let's go. Alright, so first off we're going to start off with something sick because you know I'm an anime fan. So when I was sent this, I was like, yeah man, this is sick. Like proper happy I got sent this. So first of all, big up Bandai for sending this over to me. So we're going to start off with the Jump Force game. So I was sent this year and this looks so sick. So the Jump Force game is um, that an anime game where there's a lot of anime characters who mix in the same universe. So you've got Goku from Dragon Ball Z, you've got Luffy from One Piece and you've got Naruto from the Real Shippuden. And then at the back you've got a bunch more anime characters. I don't know the majority of these people if I'm honest with you. So it came with a few things, like it wasn't too many. I don't remember if I got anything else with it. I think I got a metal box with it and you know I'm a sucker for metal boxes. Yeah, so you got some postcards of the stages. So you got Planet Namek, got New York and like the, the main cover. But yeah, so there's a bunch more in there as well, but I'm not going to go through them as well. And then you got some stickers with the characters in there, but I'm not going to go into that either, like, there's a lot of stickers. And then these three pictures, which I actually am going to frame and put them on the wall. Like you got Naruto in Ninetales mode, and you got Luffy in Gear 4. Then you got Goku in Super Saiyan Blue mode. Like these are proper sick, man. I swear I'm, I'm actually going to frame them and put them on the wall because these are actually cold. This is actually a sick kit, man. Like I said, I'm definitely framing these, but yeah, it's cold. But let's go on to the next one. So the next one is from the One Piece Burning Blood game. Yeah, this one is kind of basic. I don't remember what, I actually, what else I actually got with this as well. But the one thing I really do like about this is this art book. So like, you got um, like a lot of characters on there. You got Smoker. Like, look at the art, look at the design. This is, this is so sick. Chopper, Crocodile, like, just so sick, so crazy. So this is definitely something like, you know, like you put this in a glass case and you just have it like leaned up against like a trans, a transparent, like whatever the leaning thing's called, man. You just have it there and people come around. You got, what are you saying? You got a, you got a one piece art book, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a one piece art book, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't even know what this is, but it's got a couple of characters from the actual series on there. And now we get into the big boy things. Everyone knows that nah, man know I'm a Marvel fan. Man is like Mr. Marvel. When I was sent this, I was like, yeah, gee, trust me. Like this is crazy. Like the Avengers logo on there, all the characters, all of their symbols in there, the big A. Get me, like this thing's cold. But you know what I love about this actual box set in the first place? Like everything in this box set, like if you had spent, I don't know how much this actually was, but let's say you had spent like 150 pounds on this whole set. Like it's so much value for money. Like I'm gonna show you, let's get into this. Everything that you got, you got the character's icon in it. So for that, you got this Iron Man blueprint. I'm not really an Iron Man fan, so I'm not really bothered about the whole blue. I've already teared it in that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really bothered about the blueprint and that. But yeah, you got the Iron Man armor blueprint. Which if you're an Iron Man fan, then nah, this is probably something super sick for you. And then you've got um, Miss Marvel's Avengers badge. You've also got like a picture of all the Avengers. Hold on, let me take this out. All the Avengers with Miss Marvel. You've all got a note on the back of it and that. So you've got everyone there. You've got some small little boxes. Actually, let's go to the smallest ones first. So you've got like the four symbol there. So uh, you'll need a key ring, and then you've got like, symbols on top of that as well. This is actually sick. I wouldn't actually carry this on my keys though, because if I lost this, I'd be proper upset. So I'd just rather keep it in the front house, definitely. And Black Widow symbol. So 
like black with a belt buckle like this is proper cold like you know like if you're doing like proper halloween fancy dressing and thing this this is proper cold for it hulk symbol so you got a hulk bubble head i don't know these arms don't move the head just shakes smash yes <laughs> but you know the funniest thing about this is look at this love tony ah oh, iron man's mocking it bro <laughs> yeah so you got that and then you got the big boy cap no you have to appreciate this let me, let me put this on the floor to appreciate this properly hold on, hold on let's take this out the case look at this jeez this is what i'm saying this this is a sick statue yeah man this is cold that's what i'm saying as i said before that like, it doesn't matter how much money you actually would have paid for this this is good value for money like this this is a whole collectible set like this is this is incredible and then you've got the game of it as well so like the game was just all right but like the set this is a bad boy set like well done this is incredible now my last collectible is a big bad boy one now i understand you like i'm not a major fan of the game in itself yet but i was so like i'm grateful for this piece this is art oh my days the last piece from tekken 7 yeah me look at this box jeez matt you can only imagine what's in there and it's only one thing in here like this is one of those boxes that you don't actually end up getting rid of like, that box is so sick look at this wow are you crazy hold on wow this is mad like this and i said i'm not a major fan of tekken but this nah this is cold like this is the type of thing that i would have seen in the shop and be like ross what that's from tekken and bought it anyway like if, if i was a fan or not like, this is just proper bad incredible like look at the look at the detail look at the scar on his back and that all over his body and, and everything but yeah man this is so sick so sick now everything about this piece wow so yeah that's all my um gaming collectible collection that i've been unpacking in the fun house like so i'm gonna make sure i can get a sick glass cabinet and put all these things in because they need to be on display man they can't be in the boxes this is crazy i'm so i'm so happy that i've got this place that I can actually put them in man trust me that's it for me and my collection today. If you like this video, please give it a like and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notifications button for updates on future content. It's your boy Joey from the Fun House and I'm gone. See you later.